Good morning. Welcome to Yap. Oh, is it coffee dish? All right. Where are we starting? Um. Oh, I'll be live. Oh, it's just loading. It's just, just a massive delay. Taking its sweet time. I must Slay. be one of the. I must be one of the highest ranked followers. Because you always see it. I'm always on the it. live. Yeah. Thanks, Alicia. All right, guys. So if you're here, we can't Thank start yet. Thank you. We've got th- really important things to do, and that is to get coffee. Oh, thank you, Leash. Okay, coffee acquired. Let's fucking go. Let's get into it. What's up, Alex? I don't know who you are, but what's up? I know him now. All right. What's funny? What's funny? Um, I like literally just got out of bed. That is funny. Yeah. So funny. So unusual for you. Worse today than usual. So unusual. Just worse today. So it doesn't today. mean you smell? Do I smell bad? I can Maybe. smell a little bit. Is that bed smell? Yeah. <laughs> I, I only fell asleep at 6.30. So I like oh. tried so hard to stay in bed as long as I could. And then Alistair was like also awake with me for most of the last oh. night. And so when we got up, it was like... You need to start doing hard drugs, bro. Yeah, probably. Just do hard drugs. Probably. Just do hard drugs. It's way better for your life, actually. <laughs> hard drugs? Yeah. Like what? Which one specifically? Heroin. Right. No. Right. Probably going to get banned for that. I should probably stop. <laughs> yeah. It's probably still talking about drug use. Don't, don't do drugs. It's really bad. Okay. What's going on? I'm spamming the likes so that our live gets ranked something so that people will hop on. <laughs> Just but gaming the system. But maybe everyone is asleep like I was, you know. Maybe everyone was just tired. Yeah, to be fair, I was tired this morning. Yeah. I was meant to go to gym and I didn't. No. Oh. Yeah. One of those days. I need to cancel my gym membership that I haven't used for like a year. <laughs> Since you started. <laughs> Since I got it. Since you got it. Went once. <laughs> yep. All right. We've got a. Well, let's just jump in the newsletter then. Okay. Because this it. first story is cool. Um, it was a story I shared with the guys. Okay. It's mm, cool, God. but also like there's a little bit of element of um. Uh, I don't know. It's the thing I want to talk about. So okay. go into it. Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Have you heard of this? Have I heard of? Have her? you heard of her? No, only because of this. this. Yeah. Okay. So Caitlin Clark is like blown up. All over social media. Um, and she's in the WNBA. So she was like top collegiate um, basketball player. Uh, they're trying to cool stuff of like of all time and all this sort of stuff. But like it's a little bit of a hype. But anyway, she's fucking good. She hadn't been playing for a whole lot either. Like I'm pretty sure she started playing properly in college. Like something crazy like that. But the thing is, there's like this fever that's gotten around her. Around her. And like everyone's going to watch her. Like when she played the other day, like everyone was there. All the celebrities went. Like everyone's rocking up. And it's just become this huge thing. They've had like millions of people watch all the stuff compared to like relatively high compared to other stuff. And no one can really understand why except that uh, she's so good. Is it brands like putting spotlight on her? Um, no, 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 they are now, it's getting more hype, it's like the hype's building the hype, yeah, that's for sure happening. Interesting, interesting. But but that hype was building before these brands came, the brands came because of the hype, and now she's getting like Nike deals and all sorts of stuff, and like it's pretty crazy because right. it's like, oh, she's getting an eight, de- eight year Nike deal for 28 million, it's like, fuck, LeBron got like a 90 million deal out of college, like in college. <laughs> like and now he's like his deal's like a billion dollars. <laughs> Why do you think that it just spread over more people now? Like it's more no 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 or fuck. just straight talent or like what's the what's the go? Yeah yeah okay yeah I I honestly I was saying my sentence and then I kind of like <laughs> I figured it out very yeah. fast. It is definitely not 
because oh, I went white. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, no, it's coming. Um, it's yeah, like men's sports gets paid more than women's sports just about everywhere. Mm. Like almost all sports. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's any that don't. And that's still huge for women's basketball. And, you know, there's the argument that like not as many people watch women's basketball and blah, 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 and the sort of jokes and all that sort of stuff. But, like, whatever the reasons is, I'm not going to get into that. Mm. It's just that her she's getting heaps of attention, heaps of stuff. And it's kind of interesting. It's like, why now? And yeah. I've got this little cynical part of me. Is that, that thinks what? The advertisers like, oh, we've got a white person in basketball. What? They kind of like... It's kind of like marketing a black president. It's like, oh, I can yeah. look up. I can, I can, I, my heroes look like me. Interesting. <laughs> she is also like really good though. Like it's she, not, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Uh, She's fucking real good. But I, I, like there's been other really good WNBA players, obviously. Yeah. Someone has always had to be the best. Yeah. Someone's always had to be the best in the league. Yeah. But I think now more than ever, there's like more eyes onto it. The sport as a whole. And then suddenly the yeah. stars like rise up and. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder yeah, if it's like the moment in time, eh? Yeah. But also, it's a marketer's dream. Yeah. It's a marketer's yeah. dream in America. They're they're racist as crap. Nah, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it's. I just reckon it is. <laughs> just kidding. We love you live. Oh love my god, we, we, love, we love we love <coughs> America. In the UK, it's National Biscuit Day. What's your favorite biscuit? Ginger nut. Ginger nut. Holy shit. What? Ginger nut. Yeah, I could. Wait, so you've got all the biscuits in the world to choose from. You're like, mm, I want that ginger. <laughs> Give me that ginger nut. Does scotch fingers count as a biscuit? Sure. Scotch fingers. Holy shit, scotch fingers. <laughs> what? What's wrong Are with you these? making tiramisu out of it? Yeah, that's rough. No, with the chocolate at the bottom. Cho- scotch <sighs> fingers with the layer of chocolate. Yeah. So, like, you could have, like, moustache cookies. Yeah. And, and you're going with... <laughs> Scotch fingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think digestive is really good. We can't. I can't eat ginger. Wait, yet. why? What? What would you have? What's your? I mean, wait. What's your favorite? <laughs> the Scotch fingers. Fuck my life. <laughs> 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 Who the hell eats Scotch fingers by themselves? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, hard guys rip her. What? Wait. Okay. Can you answer the question? Um. Commercial biscuits. That's a hard question. I'm probably going to go into something like in a commercial biscuit. I'm probably going to go into something like a Tim Tam or something. But I wouldn't go get commercial biscuits because I I don't really yeah, like them. A bit no. too sweet. Yeah. I'd probably go and get like a like my favorite biscuit is a chocolate chip cookie salted with sea salt flakes. Chip City. Oh my god! Oh, she just chip remembered. Oh, there's City? better things than Scotch <laughs> fingers. No, but honestly. Like just for so if everything the, only, the only one you could always have for the rest of your life, you're like, nah, give me that scotch finger. Yeah, or ginger nut. <laughs> no, ginger nut is actually diabolical. Is, <laughs> it's why actually. is that diabolical? <laughs> ginger nut is so good. Bro, you know who loves ginger nut? Who? David. Actually, if, bro, if bro. you go to David, if David's on the slide, hell line, yeah, bro, David hell loves, yeah, David loves a ginger nut. It's, see, I'm telling you. Someone oh, yeah. grab Nana tea in a blanket with a ginger nut. At least I didn't say pink wafer. God. Uh, oh my god. Come on, ginger nut is just. Don't say pink not. wafer. Gingerbread's greater than ginger nut. Too good. I mean, Tim Tam's pretty good. That was a pretty good answer, but you know what? It just gets oh gelat too fast. I'll put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Save it up. Um. That was a cue, guys, that we're going to get back on to reading the news. Like we're getting told off by Abdul. Oh, okay. okay, 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 um, okay. What's a hobnob? A hobnob's like a, like a, a British br- uh, biscuit. It's like a... I'll show you. What does it taste like? What does a hobnob, the hobnob taste like? It's gross. It's like a, like a, dis- like a digester? Nah, it's like a... It's like an Anzac cookie? Kind of, but not really. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. It's like a national dish almost. Crazy. All right. Yeah. That that's saying Rob would say hobnob. Got yeah. It's saying that Nate would have. Nate would love a hobnob. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. That's a Nate thing. You have a cup of tea? 
cut tea in a hobnob? It's like I I don't even know. When a when a British person's like, oh, cut tea in a, in a bicky? Yeah. Yeah, they, like have a, a they have a hobnob. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I might like hobnobs. <laughs> you will like a hobnob. <laughs> this you rate. are a hobnob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I could be into hobnobs. So our next article that we're talking about. Oh, we're still on Kate Clark. No, we're going to Eminem's now. I was talking about these sorts of brands with the guy yesterday. Yeah. About just like these like awesome old brands that just do things right, like Lego. Yep. Lego is a fucking great brand. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best brands. Like it's better. It's better brand. Then like it's up there with the Nikes, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think M and M's the same. Yeah, they're like almost legacy brands. Yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna say timeless, but that's not it. It's I don't know what the word is. A legacy was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's like those brands that have just like managed to stay relevant but consistent for forever. Yeah. Yeah. Like M- Lego, yeah. Nike. I mean, M and M's is a really good one, actually. Yeah, yeah I really like M and M's. Um, I also like that they like understood how to diversify their product without killing the core product. The peanut and the chocolate M&Ms are still the yep. main M&Ms. Mm-hmm. Like they're still key. Mm-hmm. Everyone still buys it. I got mm-hmm. peanut M&Ms on my desk right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still key. Yeah. Yellow but packaging. Yeah. Like Iconic. You just know. But they bring in all this other stuff to get you back. Like, oh, I should try these crispy, new crispy ones. Try them. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Next time, peanuts. Go back to peanut. Yeah. But it gets you to buy peanuts again. There's nothing better than peanut M&Ms, honestly. I think even as like as like branding, like you know how like the Lego, uh, they made like a whole Lego movie. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like you could make a whole M&M movie. Hundred yeah. like, percent with the characters. Like, 100%. You already have the characters established. One hundred. Like, Legos didn't. Yeah. One hundred percent. We should make an M&Ms movie. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? <laughs> like in my brain, like I don't know how. I mean, just ads, right? Like, how do I know these characters? Just ads. ads? That's it. Ads. Yeah. That's so good. But yeah. over decades as well. Like. No, their ads are like legit. Like they're just entertainment. Yeah. They're little mini movies every time. They're yeah. always good. Like yeah. I just remember. It's just a tagline. Yeah. Me. When I think of M&M's and I see the faces, it's just fun, yeah. funny jokes and everything. I don't even remember <laughs> what any of the jokes are. I just remember them being It's always the them trying not to get eaten. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I'm like running away. Almost like Toy Story-esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the humans don't realize they're alive. You're the red one and I'm the yellow one. 100%. <laughs> Pinky and the brain. Your dynamic just dropped. <laughs> yeah. Pinky and the brain. That's it. It's the same time now. Yeah. But it is the same I'm dynamic. I'm telling you, are the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the orange one? <laughs> just scared. <laughs> Little. Oh. <laughs> Laura's definitely the brown one. Yes. Yeah. Little Miss Perfect. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm going to say Shy is green. Shy is green. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. that's it. Like, Eminem's has just got a so- solid brand. And in this article, it talks about uh, in the um, newsletter, which you can go read and then I don't have to butcher it. But it just talks about how they've managed to um, have longevity and a lot of it around this personification that we're talking about. Which is so helpful because of they're lovable characters. And like honestly, if you watch Eminem ads, there is no sales. Yeah. No, no. They don't no, do no. sales ads. They just do fucking skits. skits. It's yeah. all entertainment. They made TikToks on ads. Like that's what they did. They just made TikToks. And w- we try to say this to so many brands. Like we got a particular brand we're working with now, which is a big brand. And we're trying to convince them at the moment, like, just do like just do entertainment. Like don't Stop worrying about your brand values the same thing. Yeah. Just like we've Don't got the sell. we've got the the single minor proposition. Let's just showcase that and entertainment. They're like, oh yeah, but how do we get people to get in the store and blah 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 blah? It's like it, you don't Not need important. to. It doesn't matter. People will do it. If they love the brand, they'll go in. People have a choice in their in their head. They're like, let's say it's food, like M Ms. I'm hungry or I want something sweet. I'm in the sweet aisle. What do I choose? I'm gonna choose the one that I love. Yeah. I feel like there's like a like a conscious de- decision you have to make when you view it that way, depending on like how big the business is or like where what stage you are in business. Yeah. Like because for example, like our cohort, right? Like you can tell a lot of them like don't they do get it now, but they didn't understand the concept of why couldn't I just tell you that my thing is the best? Yeah. And every time Nate had to be like, no one cares. 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 You're when probably we, not the best. When we did the split off, yeah. 
I think he said no one cares about your product like a hundred times. He he would just stop them mid sentence and be like, "Okay, shut up." <laughs> like, Damn. no, one, no cares. one cares. Like, no one what cares. is the big thing? Like, why do you do everything you do? Like, how are you gonna entertain someone? How are you gonna all of this stuff? It's it was funny. Nate's so brutal when it comes to that to clients. Like, we'll be with, like big clients, and like he'll just be like, "No one gives a fuck." <laughs> always, <laughs> always he does it. Just stops them in the middle of their sentence. Like, oh yeah, yeah, right there, right there. No one gives a fuck. No, one, gives like, a fuck. no one believes that your product is good. Like, no. stop. <laughs> he's smoking like, I, your own he's like, I don't even believe your product is good. So just. <laughs> yeah, that's not the issue we're trying to solve here. We don't care. No one cares. Stop fucking believing your hype. Like we paid for this. <laughs> 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 you know what's so good about it? Because he'll do it. And then we'll all do it. Like, we'll all jump on the bandwagon and we'll be it. He's yeah. usually the most brazen with yeah. it. Yeah. And then afterwards, like, oh, thank you guys so much. That was so good. Like, I'm really. <laughs> but, like, without taking the piss out of our clients, like, it's needed. Oh, yeah. yeah no. Because we're the same. Like, we're that full of shit. Of yep. course. Like, we're not the best. And you need that so that people. So that people have that realization of, like, okay, if I don't have to worry about being the best, I can just be me. Mm. You know, I can just be the brand that I wanted it to be rather than trying to be all these things to everyone that I wasn't. Mm. Yeah. I like the um, kind of the longevity of characters as yeah. well. That's cool. ageless characters. Yeah. That's really cool. It was like when Colonel Sanders became a cartoon. I wouldn't know. No, that, like he yeah. became, the, he became, yeah. he went from the man to the. Oh, to like a digital version of him. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. And, uh, because of that, like now it's forever. The colonel, the colonel won't ever go away. Immortalized. Yeah, it's immortalized. Yeah. Got it. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's cool. Yeah. Any good questions in there? Um. Ollie says, "What an awesome life." <laughs> Who? Ollie. What an awesome life. Thank X, you, Ollie. Thanks, X, Ollie. X joined the light, the live a little late. They're like, "Sorry, I lost track of time. Please forgive me, Abdul." You're forgiven. Let's, let's get to twenty guys. Twenty. Twenty k. X. 20K. Where are you from? Yeah, we need we need X lore. X lore. X lore. Yeah, let's build it. Can you please yeah. tell us a fake story? Please make it fake, <laughs> X. Don't make it real. If it's real, I'm gonna be so angry. Yeah. Tell me some fucked up shit. Give uh, me a good story. Ah, uh, does that? I can't tell. I can't what tell. What? Ireland. What did they say? Ireland. I love Ireland. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, fine. All right, all right. Why Ireland. do you think the Mars company is buying animal food brands? Like, what does this mean? I'm guessing you mean like pet food. Is that what you mean? Honestly, buy it. I'm all in it. The pet market, the pet is industry is fucking huge. We've got a client coming in hopefully next week who's got a massive pet food company and uh, he's an existing client who's bought a pet food company and they're going to go attack the Chinese market. It is crazy. I want it. Give me equity. It's massive. People, pets just. There's a New Zealand company called Raw Essentials who sell raw meat. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> In little blocks. And they make so much money. They're so massive. I've met the owner a few times and they're just fuck going off. Um, pet toys. Another client of mine who's wants me to market this new pet like product thing. Uh, and he's like, I don't want to pay you. I just want to give you equity because, fuck, you know this is going to blow up. And I'm like, yep. Yep. Give me, it all. Yeah. give me the equity. I remember like a couple of years ago, me and my friends were saying we should invest in pet, like animal, like pet food stuff. Because like as time goes, people are being more single. Mm. And so when people are single, they resort, to, they resolve to... Single? But even less, less kids. kids. Yeah. Like... Cats and dogs. Yeah. Our two families? Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be two people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like less kids, Yeah. Uh, more single, and also more, like we're, we're becoming more wealthy. Yeah, and to with afford. excess wealth, yeah, to we can do that. So when I was a kid, I always had dogs and cats, yeah. right? We always had dogs and cats, more family. Um, and actually, just on that, parents with kids often get animals for the kids yeah, like it's, so it's vice, a thing. it doesn't matter doesn't like matter less kids yeah. doesn't matter but we always had we always had a uh, pets and um like we were poor so our dogs and cats just ate leftovers mm. yeah. ate never anything and now when i see like my brother buying like i was like bro that that food costs more than what i eat 
<laughs> you could fry up the food literally yeah. if you take a raw essentials block and you put it in a frying pan you could eat it bro you put it in the oven it's meatloaf yeah like <laughs> easy for us straight it's up so good because it's expensive like i buy cat food every weekend bro and the cat only gets bigger she, <laughs> she needs more <laughs> <laughs> bro it's crazy <laughs> bro I'm mad about the cat how do you deal with a toxic workplace you leave yeah you just leave if you're the owner the way you deal with it is you go i'm the problem and then you fix it, you, because it's always you. Mm. Seriously, like as soon as like okay, two years ago we had some toxicity in our workplace. It was my fault. Yeah, yeah. and then I had to fix it. I fired a person, but <laughs> 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 no, I didn't fire. Them. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I had to fix it. I had to like suck suck it up. Yeah. The the person that was like not unhappy, I had to deal with it. It was my problem. It was no one else's problem. Mm. Like it wasn't their problem. Yeah. It was my problem. You know, like I just like we were going through a real rough patch, and so I had some neglect in some of the team, and then I just had to fix it. So, yep. if you're the owner, that's what you got to do: suck it up. It's your problem. Fix it. And if you're the employee, ask once. You need to fix this, and if they don't leave, because mm. they might not know they're doing it. Yeah, they might not realize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, DJPR says. So glad you're doing your podcast lives in this format now. A lot more engaging than the landscape. <laughs> the one. landscape. Do you remember when we did a landscape? That was hilarious. Thank you. Thank you so oh much. Oh my goodness. It's been a big journey to get <laughs> us here, but we're here now. We only uh, need six. Uh, well, actually, we only need like 4K now. Yeah. Six minutes. Let's go. I love you back. How did you guys go through the coronavirus? Oh. I mean, we got here. We're here now. The business boomed. I mean, that's the reason we have a business. Thank you, coronavirus. Yeah. I mean, I was just like at home. I was so like glad really it, long periods it of happened. I, I, this business wouldn't be here without yeah. it. Yeah. COVID wouldn't have happened. I mean, we wouldn't have happened without COVID. No, because like it, it made everyone digitize straight away and, and all these B2B guys needed to be on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn has bankrolled this business, not TikTok. Yeah. It's, yeah, TikTok's going now, but. But not, how we, not, how, we not how, we how we got here. Not how we got here. I was talking to a creator last night who's got a business as well, mm. similar to ours. Um, I won't call him out on this yeah. thing. He's cool. He's a fucking man. We know him. But he is trying to build a business himself and hire people. And he's like, how did you risk to hire Joni at the time when you didn't know it was going to work? And I was like, because I had nine other employees. Like, mm. she was the 10th or something like that. I was like, she wasn't even like, it wasn't like my first hire. I was like two years in at that stage. I had revenue. Up. Yeah, it was easy. Mm. I was like, I had her salary I could throw it away. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't throw it away. But you know what I mean? Like, mm. yeah. when I hired At you, that point. I didn't I didn't need you to deliver. Yeah. I wouldn't have hired you otherwise. Mm. Because, like, I was a total risk. And I think, like, people forget or they don't kind of realize that because they know most of them know us from TikTok. Mm. But actually, like, LinkedIn's bankrolled us. Everything I was, w- was doing. Fine. All my leads this week are all from LinkedIn. Oh, yeah. Always. All of them. Like, mm. All from LinkedIn. And they're not even, like, tiktok is people. They don't even want TikTok this week. Like People 98% of all of our <laughs> stuff is just from B2B B2 stuff, yeah. yeah. I mean, the TikTok has been massive. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's the reason we're this big now, for sure. It's amplified the growth. Name like, and brand. Like yeah, that's, massive. Yeah, mostly it. But in terms of, like, actual, I guess, like, if you call it sales, yeah, it's very different picture. Yeah. It helps supplement like their idea of us, yeah. definitely. Oh, so it's sure. a it's a brand thing. It's a brand would, play. Yeah. Total brand play. That's why we don't have to sit here telling you what we do every day. Because yeah. you don't need to. If you if you if you want to find out, you'll find out. You'll go to my LinkedIn, you'll go to the website. Yeah. I think you might need to call Carter in, bro. I'm trying. Bro, you need oh to get Carter goodness. the boy in. Carter. Oh. It's Carter. Carter. Here he is. Come in. Carterina. Come in, bro. Carter reveal. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Get to put him getting close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Hi. Like you love me. Bro, show them you're here. No, no, no. Bro, show <laughs> me. Take, take it off, Joe. Take it off. You have to get 50k for that. Take Ooh. it off. Ooh. Nah, here reveal. Right, here reveal, bro. 50K, 50K. Here reveal. <laughs> What's been going on, Carter? Why is why why are you not been here? Huh? Why are you not been here? I had COVID. Oh, he oh. didn't. He didn't make it through coronavirus. Yeah, he. I almost died. <laughs> Your immune system sucks. I know. Carter doesn't know what a vegetable is. He won't eat them. Must be better. Be yuck. I don't <laughs> <laughs> vegetables are yuck. But I'll get him. But there's some zinc 
tip pills on my desk. Go take one of those. It's some vitamin C. Oh, God. Yeah, there's some lemons, I think, on the desk. Lemons? I don't know. At least there's there. lemons. Yeah, there's lemons in the kitchen. Yeah. Bro, grow up. Go crazy. Go no, tell thanks. Your immune, no, thanks. Tell your immune system to grow up. Okay, chat. Can I go now? Yeah, chat? you can chat. Go. <laughs> Leave chat. Thank you. Thank you for showing He'll up. He'll be back at 40K to show us here. Yeah, 50, tomorrow. 50, 50. 50K tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. I love when it heard it. We said it. And you could just hear all the laughter outside. Yeah. Like everyone watching the live. <laughs> I, I love that our team actually watches our live. That's so cute. I don't know when this started. Like, uh, look, Leisha's in the chat. <laughs> Curls is in the chat now. I love you both. I love you, girls. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, this all is right. crack up. It's the new format, you know? Just yeah. They like it. It's the double the double screen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, Abdel. Thank you, Abdel. Where yeah. will we be without you, man? Oh, my Fuck. goodness. You Just exist. your leadership and I'm consistency. Here. Yes. I'm here for a while. To make yeah. sure that this podcast becomes what it needs yeah. to be. Yeah, oh, my goodness. You know, you clip this out and make it sound real dramatic and real good that we just love yeah, we having love you in our team yeah. so much. Abdel. I'm going to make this the pinned post of Yap. <laughs> bro, that's oh fucking solid. God. That's actually, oh but I hope you do actually. That's fucking, that's fucking <laughs> great. Have you seen the outro scenes they're putting on the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid as shit. They remind me like, do 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 do. Has he got elevated gosh. music going on? It's no, just like really bad uh, hype outro. Oh my god. You know Papyrus. You know Papyrus, the <sighs> the uh, font. It uh, looks like yeah. a oh, papyrus. Papyrus. Yeah, that's the shit. What did you call it? Papyrus. Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for it's the longest. That's how it's spelled. Papyrus. Papyrus. Uh, how do you know? Papyrus. How do you know you're right? I don't know. Because it's a word. Pap. What is papyrus? It's like a type of thing that you write on. Okay, that makes a lot of sense considering what it, the font looks like. It's a textile yeah. fiber. Papyrus. It's it's a textile like yeah. So you're like a material similar to thick paper that was used in ancient times okay, as a okay, writing okay, service. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, fair okay, fair, fair, okay, okay. It's we the get it. Avatar font. Papyrus. The biggest movie of all time oh. uses papyrus as yes, a font. Yes, papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 